and mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. Oh, and the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. Uh, An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Okay. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Oh boy. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? You're here? You? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? Yes. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. Yep. Weren't good. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. wrote a letter. Uh, I, I don't, don't want, want her pets. I, I like, like Marjorie in the sense. Uh, fuck it. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Mira. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Fuck off. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. 
Did you find the realm from wildlings? At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes? What are you talking about? I stole them. That's what got me sent to the war. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the Potato Thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was on me. I've got something for your sister. Well, I got sent here for... Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? These two were arguing. Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Ah, uh, snow. I need a uh, word. Buddy. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Black. So this is home now. Take that! Take that, you horse! You bloody song! You! Grab a practice sword! This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well four. <laughs> Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Huh. <coughs> uh, uh. 
<sighs> Want some help? <laughs> I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. Doing that all wrong. Have these were like. Oh! oh what? Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Really smart of you to be there. Not bad. Center between the eyes. One less wildling. Yeah, all of them. Nicely done. Is that smart of you for the Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. Right. If a real wildling got his hands on him, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Nice. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Maybe someone stole it. Who the fuck would have... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it! <laughs> Fuck! Didn't and Kara defended him. 
The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. You must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, I... Not another word! You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. <laughs> Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. You stole her wine. Come on, sit down. Where did, Where did you, you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. Yeah, I'm good. <sighs> Suit yourself then. So, I, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this... Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. Uh -huh. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But... It's it's always have to hide. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Uh... How did you get this far? I, I mean... I've been very lucky, I suppose. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. <laughs> I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and... Your father. The carpet's carpet's back. Back. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Oh. Hmm. 
A conspiracy of handmaidens. <laughs> lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies, what have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We're just enjoying the sunshine. Is that what they're calling wine these days? Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. There are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Right. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Uh -huh. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords, I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. <laughs> uh, My lady. Back to drinking. Yeah. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. <laughs> Mira Forrester? Yes. Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's a that private matter. matter, my lords. Foresters have nothing to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You can't us. do this. I assure you, yeah, okay. I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor oh, am lord I. Lord Andros, I'm truly sorry if I've upset you. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion. Do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. At least you're nice. Hey, guys, ah, well, sort of that was ass. fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? Uh, yes. You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood? Yes. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. Mm -hmm. 
I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. Same. My lady. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us then? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell swords. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're yeah. all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be, I'll be charming. Right. <laughs> well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? what? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Ponte Renas! Yunkai Heroncho, Sibota, and Costoti da Or. Oh, that Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Guess we'll find out. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. <laughs> 